Hi folks and welcome back for another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is a little variation on the cat's whisker booby. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H260 barbless hook. This one's at size 10, it's on a heavy wire and it's in black nickel. Now the thread I'm going to be using today is from Sempify. It's the classic thread at 12 o and as you can see it's a white thread. First thing I want to do then is a little bit of wax onto my thread. Now it might seem a little thin for tying a lure but I need the thinness of this thread because I want to keep my body nice and slim. Now the other way I could have done it of course is with some nano silk but because I'm tying a booby what I find if you're too heavy handed with the nano silk it just cuts right through your booby eyes. So I brought the thread to approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook and I'm going to just remove my waist. Now the marabou I'm using today is from Comp Candy and this is the Lunar UV White. I really love this stuff. Um, a guy behind Comp Candy is an ex-soldier called Mark McEwen and he takes real pride in his work and uh, I often marvel at how good it is actually. So I'm taking from my thumb nail to my knuckle and I'm just going to take that off the stalk of the marabou. Try and keep as much of the tip sections in as you can. You're not going to get it all but that's the more mobile end of it. So I'm just going to take this over my waste basket and snip away. Then I can dress this up to the hook shank and catch it in. You don't need to be too fussy about tidiness at this point. Just make sure you've got it in place. Once that's in place, thumb and forefinger off your right hand over the bend of the hook and just pull away. And all I'm going to do next is I've licked the thumb and forefinger and I just want to damp that down just to keep it all out the way for the moment. Next, I'm going to come in with some Vivis Perlucent. Uh, I've already got a little bit off that I worked out. It's the P01 and I'm going to dress that up alongside the shank. Catch that into place. And I'm going to bring my thread approximately six or seven millimeters back from the back end of the eye of the hook. And what I want to do is just bring that up. Overlapping turns, make sure you get good coverage. Now it's pretty tough material this and uh, I'm going to just leave it as it is. But if you're a belts and braces sort of guy and you want to make sure this lasts, you can, before you make your wraps up towards the front of the hook like I've done, put a touch of super glue on the body, which will protect it, or you can come in afterwards with a touch of UV resin. But as I said, it's fairly robust, so I'm going to leave it as is. Next then, I'm going to use some straggle legs from Sempify. I've got a card of the various colours. I want the green one here. And I've already been working with a little bit of this. I've got it, not much of this one. I might get two flies out of that if I'm really, really tight. But we'll see how we get on. So I want to catch that in, just at the edge there. And make sure you come back up towards the tail and I want you to note that I'm leaving plenty of room at the front of the hook here. Nothing worse than trying to put booby eyes on if you've not left the space. Now with the straggle fritz treat it like a palm or hackle. So every time you turn, thumb and forefinger in, pull everything to the rear. And you want nice close touching turns. And what that will give you is a clear green spot 
towards the thorax area of the fly. I'm content that that's enough, so I'm going to come in now, trap it into place with two or three turns. With my thumb and forefinger, I'm going to pull all them bits back. They escape me there, I'll just make sure I get them next time, and then I can catch that in. Come in with your snips and remove your waste. Okay, so again I'm going to go back to the uh, Lunar White Marabou and I'm going to take the same amount, so from my thumbnail to my knuckle. It's not overly heavily dressed this fly. Uh, of course, it's up to you, that's, that's the beauty of fly tying. If you want to make the wing thicker, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle into the wing, the possibilities are endless. I just want to give you an idea of what you could try. So I've just cut off the the waste into my waste basket at my side and I'm going to come in, place the marabou towards the front of the eye and just catch it in with a couple of turns. Now next I want to force all that green straggle leg backwards. So I'm going to come in, thumb and forefinger, get it all behind you and catch it in. Now once you've got that in place and it's locked into position you can come in with your thumb and forefinger your right hand, pinch the wing and pull it away. Now before I come in to do my booby eyes I want to simply sweep everything back. Now I've got a tic tac that I prepared earlier and if you haven't uh, seen how I do this, I'll stick a link to that video up on the information bar there. But basically I've got a little hole and I'm going to marry that up with my thread. I'm going to get a little loop in. Check that I've got my eyes nearly even. And you might take a couple of goes at this, but the more you do, the more you'll know when you've actually got it into the correct position. Then I simply wind it up, and because I'm using this 12 watt thread, it doesn't matter how many turns, uh, it's still keeping that thin, tidy profile. So I like to use four or five turns to secure my booby eyes into place. Don't worry if any of that straggle comes in, and to upset your day, you can always pick it out once the fly is done. Then to the front of the hook, several turns then you can come in with your whip finish tool pull your booby eyes to the rear and whip finish away now I would be content fishing this fly and I'm just going to remove that little bit of straggle that sneaked in there when I was securing my booby eyes I would fish this fly as part of a team, either on the top dropper uh, or on the point as a washing line fly. And in between it I would have a couple of flashback dialbacks this time of year. I would fish it on either a slow intermediate line or a sink tip line. Or maybe even a floater, depending on how high the fish were in the water. To finish off then, all we do is come in with a touch of super glue. That'll soak down through the thread. I'm going to add a little spot just to the bottom here, just to make sure it's secured in. And then I'll leave that to dry. It's a deadly little fly, this. It's worked wonders for me. It's also competition legal. That's it, folks. Thanks very much for watching. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please click that button and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any videos that I publish in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.